sewing machine you have to know the parts okay so you have to know the parts you have to know how to pedal your sewing machine you have to know how to thread your machine you also have to know how to reel your thread so if you want to learn all this just keep watching hello you're welcome to my channel I am Vivian and today I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to operate your manual sewing machine so if you're new to my channel I say a very big welcome thank you so much for clicking on my channel please hit that subscribe button below and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video I also say a very big welcome to all my old subscribers. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for everything. Okay. okay. So the parts of our machine, I'll start with this. This is the hand wheel. Okay. So this is the hand wheel. By the time you start sewing, you have to roll it, okay, towards you, just like this. So this part controls the other parts of the machine when you are sewing. So this is the hand wheel, okay? Now, this is the spool pin, okay? The spool pin. This is where you place your thread, okay? Now, this one is the stitch regulator, the stitch regulator okay so this helps to regulate your stitch if you want a loose stitch a tight stitch and all that so this is where you um this is where you set your stitch okay now we have this this one is used to reel our thread but most times it doesn't work for a long time okay so we usually reel our thread with our hands and then um, some other things okay i'll show you how to do that so this is what it is actually meant for for reeling our thread to the reeler now we come to this other part okay so here we have the presser bar this presser bar is used to, to set our presser foot. So this is the presser foot, this particular one. This is the presser foot, okay? Why this is the presser bar, okay? So this one helps to tighten or to set the presser foot. And here we have the needle rod, okay? So this particular one is the needle rod. And this is the needle clamp. Okay, so this helps to hold the needle in place. So you can see the needle. This is the needle. Why this one here is the presser foot regulator. Okay, so this is the presser foot regulator or the presser foot screw. You actually use it to tighten the presser foot. So this particular one. Okay. So, let me show you the other parts. So, you have this part here. This particular one is the tread lifter. Okay? So, this is the tread lifter. When you're sewing, you see it moving up and down, lifting the tread. Why this one is the tread regulator? Okay, this one also helps to make sure the thread passes very well. Okay, so you can see it here. So, this one is the tension spring. Okay, this is the tension spring. When, by the time you're sewing, it helps to control the thread. Okay, it helps to control the thread. And here we have the tension 
knot the tension spring knot that helps to tighten it you can make it tight or you can make it loose so here we have the slide plate okay this is the slide plate then under the pressure foot we have what is called the feed dock okay but in the ordinary term we call it the seat so that helps the fabric to pass when you are sewing. You don't need to pull it unless you have or you're sewing a very thick fabric. But ordinarily, when you're sewing, the teeth helps the fabric to move. Okay. So that the the slide plates. By the time you pull you you slide your plate, you have the the bobbin holder there on the bobbin too okay the bobbin we usually call it shuttle so let me just show it to you so this is the shuttle which we also call bobbin so right on there we have the bobbin holder okay where you fix the bobbin so this bobbin or shuttle holds the reeler Okay, by the time you reel the thread to it, you fix it in like so, then you place it inside there, okay? So that is it. So, so to this other side, you can see this. This is what controls the, the presser foot. So when you want to sew, by the time you place your material, your fabric, you bring this one down okay so this is it now let me show you the down parts so this is the bed okay this is where your fabric will lie on when you are sewing and this one this is the foot pedal okay this is where you pedal your sewing machine this one here okay so you can see it and we have the the belt this is the belt okay and this is the foot wheel this is the wheel that controls it this is the hand wheel up here and this is the foot wheel so these are the parts of your sewing machine now let me show you how to use it okay so to learn how to pedal your sewing machine what you do is this as a beginner you want to learn how to pedal your sewing machine just remove your thread okay i've removed my bobbin from the under i've removed my thread so you do just place your leg okay place your foot on the foot pedal you can see like so then you would hold your hand wheel so by the time you roll your hand wheel you monitor just watch where your foot pedal is moving whichever area it moves to that is where you would press your foot let's see now i'm pressing it it's going that way it's going yeah, forward so that's where i'll press my foot so when it's coming back or coming down towards me i'll also press my foot like so down there so i'll just roll it by the time you roll it you Okay, follow the direction okay just follow the direction of your foot pedal by the time you roll wherever your foot pedal moves to that is where you should press your foot so just roll now it moves to the front i'll press my foot to that side when it's coming towards this side i will also press my foot to that side so your hand will controls the foot pedal so like so so I hope you can see this. Okay, so this is how to pedal. Just keep practicing it, and you would get used to it. It will be it will become easy for you. So you just roll. Make sure you're rolling towards you. Your hand wheel must roll towards you, and not the other way around. It must be rolled this way. So you roll it towards you, and you follow the direction of your foot pedal. So this is it. So you can see. This is just how to pedal. Okay, let's do it one more time. 
So I roll like so. Then you can see. Just monitor it. Watch where your foot feather is going. And just follow it. Okay? And just follow it. And this is how to feather your sewing machine. So this is it. Now, to reel your thread, let's assume you want to start sewing. Like I said earlier, this part here is meant for reeling your thread. But if it's not working, most times it doesn't work. So what we do is this. You get a nail or a broomstick, whatever that can easily pass through your reeler without it getting stuck. Okay? So that is what you get. Now, I'll take my thread. So to reel your thread... You take your thread. Most times when you place it at the spool pin, it usually falls down. So no problem. Make sure you have a clean um, floor for it to roll. Or you can get a small bowl and put your thread in it. Then you reel. Okay. So to reel your thread, you just hold your reeler. Then you place your thread around it like so. You hold it with your finger. Then... You roll it, just roll the thread. When you're sure your thread is fixed, then what you do is this. You take your nail, you place it. You can see the area, see where my thread is. Then you place it like so. Then you turn your hand wheel. Okay, so you just start head down. Then you place it here and you hold it. So you, you have to control your thread with your hand. So I'm holding my nail with my ruler on one hand, that is on my right hand. Then with my left hand, I will control my thread. So I'll just let it drop, okay? Then you, you feather, just feather your machine. So while you're feathering, you place it here, like so. You can see, I'm controlling my thread and leaving it where I want it to reel. So you can see this, okay? So this is it. So when you reel your thread, make sure you don't fill the reeler completely. Because if it, if it is too full, by the time you place it in your bobbin, it will be stopped. It will not move easily in the bobbin. So let me just... So this is okay. So you can see what I have here. Okay, so this is okay. So I'll just cut out my thread. Now, see the way it is. You see the way I'm holding it? This is how I'll place it in my bobby. Like so. Just place it. Then you pick your thread, just lift your thread, pass it through the bobbin like so. You see this small passage? You pass it through and you make sure it comes out from here. Then you can just pull it, okay, to make sure it is rolling. You can see it is rolling. But if the thread is overfilled, if you overfill, if you overfill the the reeler, by the time you pull your thread, it will not roll, okay, to be stopped. So you can see it rolling easily, okay. So that is it. Now I'll place it inside my bobbin holder. Okay, like I've taught you. So let me show you. So now, this is my bobbin, and my ruler is in it. So to fix it, remember I told you we have the holder, the bobbin holder inside here. So you just fix it. So you go through under. And you fix it like so. Okay, when you fix it, make sure it is fixed. It has a space for it there. Make sure it is fixed. Okay. It's about fixing your bobby. Okay, so that is it. So just hold it like so. You go under and you fix it like I've shown you. So it is there. Then you close your slide plate. 
Now, you take the thread that will be up. So I'm using different colors so that you will see the one coming from the under and the one on top. So now you place your thread on the spool pin, like so. Then you pass it round, okay, the machine top, the handle. Okay, this part helps the thread to move smoothly. Then now you pass it through the thread holder here. This part is a thread holder. So you just place it there. Then, so you place your thread at this top. Then you take it through this handle. You can see what I did. I passed it through the back and I'm coming out from here. Okay, then I'll place it on the thread guide. Okay, so this is the thread guide. Here is the thread guide. So you can see this. Then I'll pass it from the thread guide. I'll take it through the regulator like so. I'll take it through the regulator like so. You can see it. Then if your thread is too long, you can cut it. Take it through the regulator and I'll pass it through the lifter like so you can see it then you can just pull it a little bit then pass it through this guide also then through your needle you pass it through your needle okay so this is it and you have it so I hope you have seen the process of threading your sewing machine. So it is very simple. So let me take it again. Now I am sitting just the way I'll be, sit I'll be sitting if I'm to sew. So you place your thread like so. See where I'm passing it through like this. Then I'll bring it like this again. Pass it through the thread guide. Then roll it through the regulator okay hope you can see it then i always like cutting my thread because i want a smooth edge when passing it through the lifter so pass it through the lifter like so then you can pull it a little bit pass it through the other thread guide then through your needle okay so this is it and you have it here so just pull it out a little bit so this is your thread so this is how to thread your sewing machine so before you start sewing you have to make sure the thread on that that is the thread in the bobbin comes out so what you do just okay roll your hand wheel okay and as you roll you pull on this one that is thread off and you will see the thread on that coming out and you bring it out. So I've used different color of thread. You can see the one on that, that's the orange color, and this one on top. Okay, so this is it. Now, to start sewing, you just place your fabric like so. Then you bring down your presser foot. Okay, you can see it, you bring it down. So by the time you bring it down, you roll your hand wheel. Okay, so you just roll it. Now you can pass this thread, the one up, you can just take it back and you start sewing. So remember I told you that this is stitch regulator. So when you start sewing, you want to, okay, tighten up your stitch so it doesn't lose. So what you do, you start sewing, you take it up a little bit, that is the back stitch, and you bring it back. That is, you back stitch it and you bring it back again. So that is back stitching. You make it to make it tight so that by the time you finish sewing, your thread will not lose. Okay, so you back stitch. So this is it. And come down. So when you back stitch, you see your fabric coming coming towards you. Okay, so you you take it off and you take it down again. That is you have back stitch it and it is now tight. Then you can go ahead and start sewing. Okay. So this is your stitch regulator. 
if you want a very loose stitch you bring it down okay you bring it down to the very start so this is for loose stitch for example you want to make gathers okay that you need a loose stitch you bring it down if you want a medium stitch you just take it up a little bit it has numbers like mine is numbered 7 10 15 30 like that so you want a medium stitch you just place it in between the first and the second number you want a tight stitch so you just take it up a little bit like to the number 10 so you sew so right now is that a tight stitch so what it will do it will make my stitch tight okay so this is it i have a very tight stitch so if i want a loose stitch i'll just bring it down and I sew okay and i have loose stitch so by the time you finish sewing you also back stitch again okay that is to like knot your stitch and this is it okay so now we'll move to oiling of our sewing machine so people ask how often should i oil my sewing machine so now to oil your sewing machine it depends on how often you make use of your sewing machine it depends on how often or how busy the machine is if you're using it so often you can i you can oil your machine every day or two times a week sometimes once a week depending on how often you make use of the machine okay so that is how you should oil your machine now on your sewing machine there are holes okay so this is the presser foot regulator it has a hole there's a hole here so you apply your oil you drop your oil on each of these holes like so so a drop of oil is okay so just a drop is okay on each of these holes you need to drop your oil so when you're dropping your oil make sure you don't have any fabric on your machine because it's going to get stained so you first of all oil your machine then you clean your machine before okay so by the time you move your fabric you cut out your thread so now you oil it on every hole you see on your sewing machine you drop your oil okay so this is it you can see I have a hole here i have a hole here so you just drop oil on all the holes this is to help to lubricate your machine so that it can move smoothly okay so that there won't be friction inside or under it so that all the parts move smoothly without having any friction so you have to lubricate it okay so that is it so after oiling your machine you clean it and make sure your machine is dust free okay don't expose it to dust so make sure you always clean it then you also have to oil your foot pedal okay you have knots there are parts where you have knots you have to also oil so that your foot pedal will also move freely without any friction okay so you just oil okay and also you oil the wheels on the knots okay just oil the knots and that is just it about oiling your sewing machine this is it very simple right all you need is just constant practice keep practicing follow everything step by step and you'll be perfect so this is just it i hope you like this video i hope it is helpful to you please give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much for watching see you in my next video Bye.